If you're like me and like to have more power and color correction, then the Final Cut Pro 10 color board gives you. There are some great alternatives available in FX Factory plugins. In this video, I'd like to show you the top five plugins I like to use for color correction in Final Cut Pro 10. Links to each plugin are in the description, and because they're in FX Factory, they are all free to try. First off, Moods from Yanobox gives me a unique way to color correct in Final Cut Pro 10. Moods has a cool UI that appears on screen, plus a help card you can turn on as a guide. Go full screen to color your footage in an immersive environment. Use the on-screen controls to adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Change modes to crush the contrast. Hawaii Color also uses on-screen controls for ease of use. At the bottom are three very large color wheels for shadows, mids, and highlights. You can also control the temperature, exposure, saturation, plus some additional picture effects. While you're grading, you can use the various controls and the parameters to toggle the UI on and off and see the full picture represented in the scopes. Or if you prefer, use Hawaii Color Full Screen, where the overlay guides will have no impact on the scopes. The next two plugins are from Picture Instruments, and they provide some powerful tools as well. With Color Cone, you can select and correct any color range. Select a point in the color cone. Note the source color on the left. To the right is your target color. With a click of a button, you can highlight your color selection with a pink overlay. The Radius slider allows you to control how many of the adjacent colors will be selected. The three controls under the target color change the hue, saturation, and brightness of the source color, so you can make fine, specific adjustments. Color Cone includes some powerful skin tone controls. The first control protects the skin tones from the tint of the corrections. The next two controls allow you to adjust the saturation and hue of the skin tones separate from the Color Cone corrections. Finally, there are contrast, saturation, and brightness sliders for the entire image. Warping Wheels is also from Picture Instruments. It has four wheels, Master, Shadows, Highlights, and Mids. Each wheel allows you to adjust the color of that portion of the image with the wheel. There are also range controls. The left slider adjusts saturation, the right slider adjusts brightness. I'll make a quick correction. You can see it live in the image and also on the gradient below it. On the slider to the left of the shadows wheel, when I move it up or down, you can see the correction move up and down in the image and also on the gradient. The smoothness slider below the wheel increases the width of this range as well. Since it's easy to screw up your skin tones when making big changes to color, there are some unique ways to fix this. Simply use the Protect Skin Tones slider to make sure that all skin tones are unaffected by the correction. Epicolor uses artificial intelligence to analyze the footage in real time and apply a correction. Completely natural colors just the way you'd expect without tedious manual corrections. There are two modes. Dynamic, the default setting, analyzes each frame in real time and creates a correction. Or Static, Freeze LUT, which allows you to choose a reference frame and apply the correction to the whole clip. If you work with flat, log, or raw, you can easily manually adjust the footage to feed the AI algorithm with the right information before it takes action. This only takes seconds, and it all happens in real time. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.